Hey guys, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make morphing between parameters and snapshots in VCRec using my strip. So let's check this out at first. So it's starting with 8-phase x2 as a snapshot selector and saver as well. Then we need something like polycon. So it's basically just eight constant outputs with polyphonic outputs and range in there. So we just select eight. All of the slides are lit. And the next step is using uh, morphing uh, and this polyphonic slew limiter uh, will help us to achieve this. And so for mapping I gonna use CV map module from Sturmelder like that. So 8-phase can save all of this parameter of polycon like that. Oh, sorry, you need to uh, select right module here. So you just save it, save another one, and just press uh, randomize or control R and save this. So we've got three parameters here. Next you're gonna do is take in some module like plats and check some of these parameters here and check this out increase a slew parameter here and yeah it's just morphing it's just not basing selecting when you connect eight phase right to the macro oscillator and uh, main disadvantage of uh, this forward selection like that is uh, you will get click when using this with audio rate module. It's gonna be a digital click and it sounds not okay, but you can do any slew as well in this module because uh, it faces just selector between uh, presets, which is uh, in random access memory now but with uh, CV parameters is just work nicely and you can modulate uh, this slew parameter as well also you can um, save presets for a slew limiter as well so uh, the switching between first and second uh, would be faster then with the second and third just hit record uh, you can see that so I'm gonna use 8 phase again and some um, pitch source I just save here C4 C sharp 4 and D4 so we get different pitch each time. Then I will choose here a C4 trigger in slot CV input. And then just connecting to the ZZC source and check this out. Uh, it's uh, basically a range arranger. So we can select immediately between uh, different presets here and different presets for polyphonic slew with any without any jitter or clicking uh, let's just listen it The more advanced tip would be add um, sample and hold from count modular. It has uh, uh, pass mode 
in there. So just connect uh, input from polyphonic slew. And the thing is you add some manual gate. The thing is each time the gate uh, is sending here, is all values just will be freeze in time with pass mode. So let's check our some long translation here between uh, second and third one. Just press here. Oh, you can see it needs uh, fix it. So let's try again. And then fix. And you uh, just fix between parameters uh, between two snapshots here. And it's pretty fun when you release it, it immediately switch to full to the another snapshot. And then you can just apply a slew limiter to allow uh, smooth uh, driving to the next snapshot. I don't use, um, oh sorry, uh, polyphonic uh, Bock Audio slew limiter instead uh, this one from Stock Audio because uh, the Stock Audio is pretty slow, which is very cool between smooth transition uh, between snapshots. So you just apply here and let's try again. then fix it and then release it and yeah it's another morphing just by with help of book audio slew so i prepare some strips in nice in use for automation your patch yeah by the way you can uh, get it on my patreon page so let's try with mixer automation strip here we can see a ranger uh, just fill uh, full of 16 slots i'm gonna use a new room module in strip mode so just deselect this a bit and you can uh, drag it onto another row which is pretty fun to use uh, and here is a for volume there is no CV map here because the last version of Mind Meld Mixer allows you to connect. Let's drag it in to connect a polyphonic signal from here to the first uh, channel. So the thing is, you just set your gains, uh, make some unity gain stuff in here, and then you can automate your session just by saving or random preset uh, you can hear or see what's going on let's just increase the slew limiter a bit it looks like a automated console which is pretty fun and so like that and then you just switch between them it's pretty awesome uh, so in that way you can adjust your uh, volumes and the next part of this strip is a uh, sand strip I use uh, polycon 16 because uh, because there is a 16 input oh this thing needs a bit of practice uh, so just apply it here and um, the thing is you should block this uh, channel knob with also module from stir melder that's called grip and when you press it you can do some randomizing here and you can always get 16 polyphonic channels let's save this let's save this and let's save this done and same for slew 
just different speed and different speed for up and down parameters is pretty fun part is in this polyphonic slew limiter and of course uh, linear and exponential curves here just like that so let's connect our R ranger here to get uh, all together with um, volumes eight phase and sense and let's just click in here it uh, now it's yellow so it means it weights our clock just because I map it to arm slot in this case so in that way you can sync your changes between uh, those morphings and this is more than awesome for big controllable patch so you can uh, see altogether difference here and the same for send CD and also I prepare another strip for it and this strip is called 8 voice control strip so this is for uh, having four knobs on each of eight voices to control it over time all together with mixer and send controls so I use polymerge with this option here and just one CV map module for taking in slim a bit and in the end of the video I'm gonna show you my patch uh, automated patch so you can hear what can you do with this idea so let's load it This is just basic, simple techno patch. I keep it simple just because they show the power of automation in that kind of connection. So this is our arranger. This is map it a bit, a bit uh, some plots, um, sense, and all that stuff. So let's see and hear what's going on. So this is the first slot. Just some nice uh, builds and morphing for some parameters in plats. Rise up the hi-hat a bit. guys I hope this would be very helpful for your VCV rec production so see you later